You know what? I think the look of this RG is actually growing on me, guys. Oh, welcome back. Welcome back to our Mega Bot in Survival. I was just looking at the uh, RG we tamed up yesterday, the Celestial RG. Look at him, like, staring at me. He's, like, glaring at me. Look at those eyes. They're, like, evil, man. All right, take a chill pill, buddy. Take a chill pill. I get it. I get it. I get it. I called you funky looking. I understand it. But now I take it back. I think you look amazing. I think you look incredible. For those of you who don't know, Celestials are normally blue color. They normally look like this. They're blue and white with a little bit of aqua colors. They, you know, that, that variety of colors. They're not red. They're not red like this Argentavis over here. But you know what? At first, I thought it looked weird. Now I just, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like that little tint of purple, the bit of red, bit of blue, bit of like teal, aqua, whatever you want to call it. But my gosh, you are a majestic beast. Today, we're going to head out looking for some more demonics and celestials. We got some holes to patch up in this team, especially after I went and lost even more teams yesterday. Yeah, we, uh, we're not having a good, good run at the moment. Uh, well, we kind of are. We're progressing. We're taking bosses down. We're maintaining some dinosaurs i guess but um not all of them and uh, now we got to go and replace some of them but before i get too far into it if you do enjoy the video please go ahead and punch that thumbs up make it rain those thumbs ups oh and before we get into the adventure it's time to saddle up strap yourselves into your pilot seats because this video is sponsored by mech arena mech arena is a fast-paced 5v5 mech shooter jam-packed full of competitive mayhem the game's bright inviting and easy to play and it runs smoothly on just about any mobile device making it really easy to party up with your friends the game prides itself on crazy levels of customization we can really personalize your mech to suit yourself there's a dozen different mechs armed with a variety of different abilities unique weapons hundreds of skins and now they've gone ahead and taken it a step further by adding pilots to the game there's 12 completely unique pilots with different levels of rarity for you to choose from each adding a whole new level of depth to the game's strategy and gameplay you can customize their skills to suit your personal playstyle, your personality and of course your Max 2. The game is completely free to play on Android and iOS. If you want to check it out, make sure you use my link in the description or scan the QR code on the screen and you'll get the Steel Reaper skin, 500 A coins and 70,000 credits to help kickstart your game. And a huge thanks to Mech Arena for sponsoring this video. Okay, well, now that that's out the way, let's go. Let's do this thing. So right before I, uh, you know, started the video, I was having a little bit of a sus in here just to see what's currently out in the wild. We got a lot of origins, no origin wagon though we got a few celeste lots of celestials as a matter of fact like when it comes to celestials i really want a celestial wyvern i got no idea why it's currently on two different uh rows but yeah we got oh hold on a second you can get different types of celestial wyverns i didn't know that Anyways, apparently we can get Celestial Ice and Fire. So that's pretty cool. Either way, I want one of them. I really, really, really want a Celestial Wyvern. But mostly at the moment, I think we need a Demonic. Because soon we are going to be heading in to take on the Chaos Gods. The, what is he called again? Not you. This one over here. A Tier 4 boss, the Chaos Guardian. We obviously took on the Spirit one uh, just a couple of days ago. And it sucked. It was an absolutely horrible experience. But we got through it. Only just. It was, it was, it was traumatic. No, I didn't actually think we're gonna make it the problem is what we did use to kill the spirit guardian is now dead our demonic caprasuchus so we need to replace it and from the uh, comments i've been reading there's a few good options here for us to check out obviously it'd be nice to get another demonic caprasuchus a level 280 would be fantastic since our other one was a very very low level but i've also heard good things about the, the thorny dragon so i kind of want to check one of those out as well um aside from those two i guess actually i like the hyena done the hyena done's pretty sick i've never dealt with a i don't know if I've ever used a glow tail bulb dog or shine horn i didn't even know you could get demonic variants of those three um but definitely 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 100 i want to get a caprasuchus and i want to check out the thorny dragon um the only thing is i don't know how much kibble we can currently get so let's quickly drop in here we may actually need to go for a bit of a suss about and see what we can find um but actually maybe not hold on just a second we might actually be yeah that's what i thought fabled eggs and five feathers i can get five of these though okay do I have any, like, leftovers? We got two in here. That's seven. I mean, I only need one extra if that's the case. That's actually not terrible. Interesting. Okay. I do have one other thing that we could try and do here. Because uh, in case you don't remember what went down the other day. Or what we've been working on. What we've had up until now. 
We actually had two of these dark griffins that were making babies, then we're harvesting the babies for feathers. Unfortunately, I... Well, it's one of the casualties. In fact, speaking of casualties, uh, we, we deserve to give this guy a gravestone. So let's go, and, let's go and bury our fallen friend from yesterday, our dark griffin. I'd go to expand this, this cemetery, man. Our little graveyard over here is getting big. It's, it's, it's pretty darn bad. In fact, do we owe like a, a grave for all of the little griffins that we've gone and um, killed for feathers? Because <laughs> technically they're tames. We've, we've actually imprinted on them and then killed them. So do we, have to, do we have to go and make like a whole separate graveyard for our dark griffin babies? I mean, it's, it's uh, maybe. I, I guess I got to think that one through. Also, I swear we... <gasps> I know I knew I'd crafted two of these for a reason because I also tamed up a spirit dinosaur yesterday. The spirit dodo and apparently when you use their attack they die the thing is i i i'm honestly i want to get another one i want to get another spirit dodo just to see how much damage they actually deal because it it didn't have a damage amount it just killed everything in the area so i want to get one just to see how strong its killing ability is and how much it can kill unfortunately we got none in the world currently um but i want to i just want to witness that against like a boss and see if it just wipes out everything because i think it is i, I don't know i I don't know where to find information on it, but it kind of seems like that might be the case. So what I was uh, what I was thinking we go and do is is check out those dark archaeops that we were looking at the other day, um, because we're going to need a new form of feathers, other than that, or we just keep killing stuff. And I need five feathers to get these people to. All right. Okay. I'm going to go track these guys here down. In case you're wondering what I'm talking about, I'm talking about these guys here. There's four of them in the world now. Okay. I guess I don't. Wait. Why can't I look at your stats? Wait, what? Wait a second. Shoot. I'm... Oh, I need one more. All right, fine. I'll just do it from here. Uh, but basically, we... I need to tame up two of these. A male and a female pair. Female, female, male, and male. Technically, I guess I can just target the two low-level ones. And then I can go and kill, like, this one here for five feathers. I'm going to do exactly that. So about 50 50 i'm gonna go and track this guy down and give it a bit of a whooping uh celestial rg come with me buddy you're my dude for this one here although you are kind of slow so i could probably find a better option but doesn't matter doesn't matter we're going to 48 50 i think it was which um, yeah it's close enough all right we're gonna teleport out here we're gonna go and kill this thing and then we're gonna try and tame up the other two that's gonna give us five feathers and then hopefully you know what maybe we'll go for a thorny dragon a nice max level thorny dragon i feel like it'd be a pretty sweet get all right, let's let's uh, let's see what we can find. All right, 48.50. I think, well, we're pretty close. I'm assuming it's down there somewhere. All I can see is a pteranodon. But it turns out it probably would have been quicker to just fly here from base because we're nowhere near the snowy area where I thought we were going to be. Uh, but that's okay. That's all good. Um, I don't see it. <laughs> Not on that. Hold on, is that it here? Uh, no, that is a Megaloceros. And where is... The Archaeops. Are you there? I'm looking for some... I mean, it's going to be dark. Oh, it's Dinopithecus is down here. They're those, uh, those, those ravages monkey looking dudes. The new ones. Um, Archaeops though. Unless that's it. That is the Archaeops. Okay, there you are. All right. I was going to say, surely it's only a matter of time before I find what we're looking for. Um, ants. Oh, no, no, no. Ants. Ants. Bugger off. Bugger off. I don't want to harvest this with my dinosaur. I want to try and use my chainsaw for this. I'm pretty sure my chainsaw is better at harvesting. So I just want to get as many feathers as we can possibly get. And that's a good start. All right, cool. So, you know what? We might not even... You know what? Maybe we don't need to go and tame the other two Archaeops today after all. Maybe we just spend this stuff on the demonic kid that we're looking for in the first place. And then we go and patch up the other things another time or something. <laughs> I don't know. One step at a time, though. We'll work it out. Oh, that's right. It was fabled eggs that we're waiting for, too. So there was, like, no point, like, rushing too far into it. But as it stands, we have ourselves seven. I I think I only need, like, one more demonic kibble. I might be able to get it. Let's have a look. I can. All right, cool. You know what? The, the, the dark archaeops that we need, we'll get them another time, I guess. All right. Well, we've got eight of those now. So I think we should be good. I think... Um, I think, I think we could, I, th I can't imagine us having any issues with this, basically, is what I'm trying to say here. So, uh, what am I looking for again? <laughs> Obviously, Capra Sutures would be cool. Oh, maybe that's like an afterthought. Maybe we'll do that another time. But the Thorny Dragon, let's go for something fresh, something new. We've got this one here, and we've got this one here. They're both in the desert. Uh, and yeah, 100%, we're going to go for max level here. So, 94, 78. The question is, how are we going to knock this thing out? Because the other thing I do need at some point is another griffin. I Actually, we can just take our dark griffin out for this one here, I suppose. Ooh, there's a light griffin out in the wild. I did not know that. Also, a low-level fabled griffin corn, an electric, and a chaos griffin. 
Might even go for this at some point because I have never had a Chaos Griffin before and that really, really excites me. But uh, for now, maybe we're going to get a Light Griffin eventually. All right, all right. Let's, let's just focus on the task at hand, okay? Uh, Demonic Capricutus, we know how to get out there. Like I said, how are we going to knock the thing out? We have this gun um, and some pretty good tranks on us, I think. So I guess we'll do that. I don't think there's any reason for us to use anything stronger than this. So we should be good with these two. Um... And I guess, I guess, like, I don't want to bust him out, but Dark Griffin, I think you're coming with me today. I, I know I, uh, we lost his buddy yesterday, so I kind of feel, I feel, uh, look, if I lose two of these, I'm going to cry. So let's try not to do that. I'm just going to crank a bunch of levels into movement speed to give you a nice old speed boost. You're not my number one, like, choice for killing, but maybe we can use you for taming, even though you're not as strong as many of the things that we be fighting. But good enough, okay? The only thing is, I am going to need to fight something because I need a team helper to help us uh, team up this Capro a little bit quicker than we would otherwise. But this is cool. I'm excited for this one here. Demonic Thorny Dragon. I just hope, I hope that it's a strong, if not stronger than our Capro Sutures. That's, that's what it all comes down to because so far, our Demonic Capro has by far, by far miles ahead of anything else that we've tamed up. It's, it's insane. It's stronger than the dinosaurs that are like tiers above it. Put it that way. It's impressive. It is majestic. I love it to bits. But right now, what I need to go look at, what is this guy even? This guy's like charging around and killing stuff. Uh, like I said, we need to, yeah, just find like an alpha or something to kill. And I guess, I guess you're, ooh. Hello, demonic Caprasuchus. Not Caprasuchus, Parasaur. Um, I mean, I could actually, oh, okay. My duty is like nowhere near, 50,000. Okay, that's pretty good like charge down damage. I just need to be careful of this guy is the only thing. Um, all right, have some melee damage. If I, I can hit this guy like 20 times. I just, I, I, I think, I think the Parasaur drops explosions. I'm going to quickly try and kill him just to get a team helper. It'll make taming up the Thorny Dragon easier. Okay, hold on. All right, I just saw him like, I don't know, let out a deep breath. <laughs> yeah, I'm scared of deep breaths. So oh, he came for us that time. Yeah, this thing will one shot us, okay? Hence why I'm a little bit worried. There it goes. I knew he was going to do it at some point. I just didn't know how like much he was going to take. He actually did damage us as well. He hit me for three. Hey, okay, now I'm on fire. Uh, we seem to be okay. I, I'm dead. Oh no, I've done it. Oh my god, I got I got carried away. I got carried away. I was literally explaining why we're not going to Oh no! I was explaining why we're not gonna let that happen. And then I went and did it. What is wrong with me? You know what? My brain Ah you guys are gonna go so oh, you guys are gonna go so upset with that. That was such oh my gosh. Alright, so that's your RG, mate. I should have just busted you out from the start. Oh, you guys are gonna let me hear about that one. You know the worst part is my brain told me what was about to happen before it happened. Because I saw that we were on fire as well. He set us on fire and I thought, oh yes, it's my dinosaur. And then I saw it down the bottom like screen. I saw that I'm on fire too. Me as a rider, and I was like I'm about to burn. If I attack him again, I'm dead. And then I attacked him again. Like, it all just happened so quick. Guys, it's been a long weekend. I had my booster shot yesterday, so my, my, I'm not thinking straight clearly, okay? I, unfortunately, that doesn't explain why we make mistakes every other day, but that does explain this one here, okay? So, <laughs> bear with me, I suppose. <laughs> oh, that's atrocious. Can we just pretend that th th that didn't happen? Can we just... Can you guys just... Can I just... Men in black, you guys, like... Mind wipe you for the last five minutes. We'll just pretend... We'll pretend we never even dealt with this parasaur. We're, in fact, what parasaur? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> we're about to... We're about to... I've never seen this parasaur in my life before. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so disappointed in myself. Oh, I'm so disappointed in myself. Oh, I lost to Dark Griffin again. All right, now we really need to tame up those Archeops. All right, well, let me just quickly do that, hey? That's what I should have just done from the start. That's literally all we should have done from the start. I should have just bombed it with my RG and all would have been okay. In fact, my... The worst thing is, I'm pretty sure even my Griffin over there, my dead Griffin... Wait a second. I take it back. You know why? This is all part of the plan. This is all part of the plan. I needed feathers. And now I've got my feathers. <laughs> no, <laughs> I can't even claim that. That is a complete and utter lie. Um, but we did get feathers, so it's not all lost. 
But the hard part now is I need to go and get ourselves this demonic thorny dragon without a griffin, which means I need to be on the ground while we're firing attacks, which everybody knows absolutely sucks. We did at least get our team helper, so that's going to be helpful. It's literally in the name. It's a helper. It's going to be helpful. Um, but yeah, I get, look, now it's just the... the it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit more difficult as simple as that so where are we actually heading I think this was a little bit closer i think 85 or 67 let's have a look at what we're dealing in fact it's really close to us okay cool 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 85 which is pretty much where we're at and then we're gonna go west it's gonna be down here somewhere it wouldn't surprise me if he's actually in our view currently and i'm just i'm just too blind to see it oh hello Ooh, Celestial Udiratus. I mean, I got no interest in taming you up, but the Origin Kana is kind of, it's kind of exciting. Should I just go and kind of, kind of feeling, kind of feel like attacking some stuff over here, eh? Yeah, take that, Udiratus. Give me that Celestial Hide. I kind of want to, ooh. There's some good amount of crystal up here too. All these dinosaurs are currently, dude, did my guy get a buff or what? 185,000 damage from a, from a, just a, was he dealing that the other day? I do not recall him doing that. That's actually crazy strong. Um, but don't mind me. Yes, we are. What is happening? Okay, stop, 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 stop. Okay, cool. Oh, you broke all my crystals. Um, I know we are surrounded by celestials and demonics and origins and other fun stuff. I need crystal. So look, there's just so much here. I may as well just stop and grab all of this. It's just too convenient not to, you know what I mean? So we'll quickly grab a good stack of that wet what are you doing argy i actually gotta be careful now because i don't know where that origin kano went all right let me dip up here real quick let me come over here hold on a sec what did i just what did i just see hold on i think I, is it the light hold on where's my crossbow dude don't need it my guy's landing is that a pegasus okay it's a pegasus never mind i thought it was a light griffin and i was like what are the chances of us finding that out here? Turns out, yeah, very unlikely because it's it's not what I thought it was. I'm trying to... I was going to say, I'm trying to mount my dinosaur. It's just not happening. Okay. So where is this? I can hear him. He's down here. Okay. Uh, I need stamina. I think I got to put some levels into stamina on my dude here as well. He just runs out of it so darn fast. I guess between the flying and the crazy power-up bombs and the everything else in between. He's, you know... It, 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 there's a lot going on, okay? It's just draining him to bits. So, all of this. I'll take that and I'll jump all of these. I don't need... I don't need none of this anymore. All right. We're charged up. We're powered up. Let's go and... I just want to see how much damage that dealt. 8 million. It's not terrible. The only thing is, it has a relatively, like, long cooldown, I think. But then again, look at that. I just sit on his head and he can't do a thing. Woo! Yeah, 15. So about eight. So we'd have to hit him with like 20 of these attacks, which yeah, it's still a time consuming process. I feel like this is this is, the, is what I want our thorny dragons to be better at. Oh, am I even going to bother fighting? You know what? No, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just trying to wonder if there's any point in even fighting this Origin Kano right now. Yes, we need to fight more Origins, but it's going to be a time consuming kill is the only thing. Then again, it's a free kill. There's nothing he can really do to stop us. The reason, though, I want to fight this, I should probably mention, I want to get a max experience potion so I can max out either this Argentavis or whatever we end up taming if we get this Demonic Thorny Dragon. Maybe we should just go and get the Demonic Thorny Dragon and worry about everything else afterwards, hey? That's probably not a terrible idea. Also, I'm waiting for my attack to power up, charge up, re replenish. Where is it? It's not... Oh, no, that's not good. All right, I gotta get out of here. This is bad. Am I in trouble? Am I in trouble? All right, I need to just let my stamina do its thing, I think. Uh, we are in... I know I got health potions. It's all good. Now we're good. <laughs> okay. I knew I didn't need a patty. Oh, okay. Everybody just go away, huh? Everybody just go. All right, where's my... My stamina? Can we get some stamina back, please? I know that we do have, like... Oh, this is just not going well. All right. I'm just going to have to climb out of here somehow. Um... Do I have to really teleport out of here? Because that's the only way I see out of here right this second. <laughs> oh, what am I doing with my life? We're just making mistakes for days. Yeah, I think I actually got to teleport out. I mean, it's disappointing, but what are you going to do? All right, get me out of here. Get me out of here, please. Oh my gosh, I can't even do that right. All right, I'm actually in trouble. What is going on right now? 
Okay. I think the Kano is trying to save me by knocking me out of its range. Ah, it's a Thalakolio too. Hey, buddy. All right. Why am I? Why, what is going on? Um, what, my brain is just not functioning today. I'm telling you. Doesn't matter. All right. We, we're good. He's knocked me to safety apparently. And I think, <laughs> I think this whole time he was just trying to help me. I should still take a health potion. Um, because look what he's just pointed me towards. Did he see it? Did you see it? The orange Gano. He was just trying to point us towards that. Oh, that's not the one. I thought that was the level 300. I honestly thought for a second there that the Kano had just knocked me within range of the Demonic Thwarting Dragon that we're trying to track down. But no, unfortunately not. That isn't the case at all. It's a level 270. We're looking for a 300. Is that the 300? That's the 300. There it is. So we've got a Tushiavani. We got the tree, the, the three bagger, the three tonner down there. That's what I'm here to team up. I need to deal 2.2 million torpor. I bet you I regret. Oh, he's right beneath me. I was going to say, what is the bet? I regret not just knocking this thing out with an origin arrow. Um, I know it. I know I'm going to regret. I'm going to make a mistake here. I know it. We all know it, but it is what it is. I just want to go bang, 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 bang. Okay. I appreciate it. Okay. Well, and so I can see, I can tell the future. I'm pretty sure. Oh no. Oh no. It's going to say, I think my RG is going to kill it, but no, my RG just died to it. I shouldn't have recorded today. Should I? <laughs> this is one of those days where I'm seriously considering whether I've made the right choice or not. Even, even trying to get a video. I should not have recorded. It's like we're trying to self sabotage this entire series or something. What am I doing with my life? Now, like, what do I even do? Why did I? No. Ah. Ah. I did. I did not think that was going to happen like that. Like, like, did I? No, I didn't. I didn't. I thought my RG is fine. My RG is strong. I even used a health potion on it. It was max health. I'm pretty sure. My, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was fine. Why did it die so quickly? If anything, that might even tell me that like I, I'm, 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 I'm wondering if I know what, I'm not stopping. Okay. I'm not stopping. I am going to change the strategy here though. For a second, I'm going to pop in here real quick. If I've still got some origin blood, I don't have origin blood. Okay. Worth the shot. We used it all on the demonic, uh, Rip Empress the other day, I guess. Dang it. Well, my RG, I must use the last one on the RG. Oh, that's so bad. If I had one, I would just pop that into the thorny dragon and call it a day. But clearly we can't do that. Either way though, what has just been proven to me, I'm going to take this as a positive. I'm going to try and spin this as positive. I can possibly spin it. Um, if, our thorny, if that thorny dragon just killed my Argentavis, it means it's strong. It means it is a beast. It is a powerhouse, which means we're on the right track. I just need to finish trying to tame it. Downside is I have no idea how I'm going to get my items back. I got no idea how I'm going to knock that thing out. I need to just pepper it with arrows or darts or what, bullets, whatever it is we're using currently. But, um, you know, with that comes its own challenges because obviously it just killed us doing exactly what I said we need to do right now and finish the job. So yeah, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing guys. I should just hand my channel over to one of you guys and let you guys do better. You guys do a much better job than what I'm doing currently. Anyways, let's go and try and finish this thing, eh? We are legitimately at the part of a series where... Oh, what is even down there? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Is that why I died? Not only we got the 220 dragons down here, there's two primal carnos down there too? They definitely weren't there beforehand, like when we were doing that though, right? They weren't here earlier. That thorny drag, oh, I don't even know, man. He's just running riot right now. I'm too scared to touch the ground. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a bit of this action, I think. I'm gonna go and transfer everything on my dead body to myself <laughs> because it just seems like the smartest decision we could possibly make right this second. And put it this way, I haven't made many smart decisions today so this will be the first smart decision we make of the day there we go fantastic okay we've got our stuff back my dude here is loaded up with stuff already um what do i actually need out of all of this there's a lot of there's a lot of junk here 
Um, Celestial Argentave Saddle. Yep, from our dead Argy, of course. All right, let me go and put my armor back on. Not that it's really going to do us any good. Um, man, oh, man, oh, man. I'm, just, I'm hurting, man. I'm hurting. I'm really, really hurting. Um... Um, 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 oh yeah, let's have a look at how much Torport we actually dealt. 600,000. Okay, so I was going to do that another three times. The thing is, well, you guys witnessed what just went down. The other thing is, uh, we got, we got, we got a few primals out here now. So even if I did knock this thing out, all right, real quick, just to make my life quicker later on, I'm actually going to set a remote teleportation out here. That way I can teleport back <laughs> instead of flying over the ocean for a seventh time. Um, but if... If I, if I do knock this out, we're going to have primal Kano problems as we're trying to, you know, do our thing. All right, let's just, let's just go for this thing and see what we can do, eh? Should I fly away right now? I actually don't know what this thorny dragon's attack is. But he, I look, it looks like we might be far away enough that he can't get to us this time. Not if I slide down this rock, I won't be. Um, so I'm wondering if I can... I wonder if we're out of its range. We might be able to just finish the job. All right, I'm going to try. Why, yeah, I was going to say, why it won't let me scope? I hope we're good. Just keep on hitting it. Hit it with everything we got. I'm just going to literally lay everything into it. I don't, then we'll cross, I don't know, we'll work out what, what we're going to do with this guy afterwards, I suppose. But right now, he's hiding from me. Got him in the tail. That's all I need. Um... Where did he go? <laughs> um, where are you, buddy? I need to finish you off. Otherwise, oh, I missed that last shot. That hurts. That hurts. That hurts a lot. Uh, sorry, we still got 25 of these. I might even need to go home and get more ammunition, to be honest. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I guess. That's all we can do. There he is. Okay. Okay. How are we looking here? 1.7. No, I reckon we'll be all right. I reckon, we're gonna, I reckon we got this. In fact... He might even try and run away from us soon. And I'm hoping he does because I want him to run down there. It's almost like clockwork. He listens to me perfectly. All right. Keep running, buddy. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. I don't even know if I'm hitting him anymore. Surely, right? All right. Let's go and see what we've done. Have we knocked it out? Oh, he's running to a ditch. There's a Kano down there. That's fine. I can take the Kano on. He's not asleep yet, though. 2.1 million Torpoi needs like another 100,000. I reckon I got to hit him like once or twice more. There's an Alpha Kano there. There's a 20,000 health Alpha Kano here. Do you reckon he'll give me an opportunity to land? There's so much stuff around that's going to ruin our day, though. I do 16,000 damage, though, so that's okay. But, okay, I got I to gotta deal with some of the threats in the area. And unfortunately, the one we're trying to tame up is probably the biggest threat in the area. So, one second, one step at a time, I guess. Uh, we got Thylacolios out here. I'm just trying not to anger the thorny dragon. I don't want him to spot me. I don't even know what his special ability is because I died to it the second he activated it. So, yeah, I'm just really nervous. Okay. That might be most... Okay, I reckon that's most of the dangers dealt with. All right, let's go. Oh, some Deodons over there. All right, let's see what we can do, eh? Oh, hold on a second. He's 2.2 million top one now. I think he's asleep. Hey, we did it. It was only one more shot. All right, nice. All right, I think the coast is pretty clear. It's as clear as it's going to get. No, it's not. I see you. I see you. And I saw another scorpion just up here. All right, I need this, guys. I need this. You guys have no idea how much, like, if I don't end up with this guy in full health today, I'm going to cry because we have, like, sacrificed quite a bit to get this far. And if we were to not come home with the spoils, I think I would I would actually cry. I'm already crying on the insides. So don't worry. But I would absolutely die if I didn't get this guy home in one piece, fully tamed up the way he is about to be. We have ourselves a level 449. Demonic Thorny Dragon. All right, and I'm getting you out of here, mate. I'm getting you all out of here before it's too late. Come on, we got to catch that ride too. We're all catching it together and okay. So, <laughs> have I redeemed it? Have I redeemed the death of our Dark Griffin as well? As my Celestial RG. The Celestial RG one stings because that's something I've wanted to tame up for so long. But gosh, dang, look at the size of this guy. 
I mean, all demonics are big. Don't get me wrong. Like, it should be kind of self-explanatory. Like, I should, it should be expected that this guy is giant. But uh, did I expect it this big? No. No, no, no. Definitely not. This thing's, uh, like, massive. Uh, let's get him a saddle. I want to test him out right this second. Where is the Zestone Dragon? And you know what I really got to start doing? Upgrading these saddles, man. It'll, it'll allow my teams to team up so much well, no, it won't, it won't do anything to their tamings. It would, it would allow them to stay alive, which is, you know, an, an important thing. Um, attempt upgrade. I mean, it's quite expensive. I guess that's why I don't upgrade my saddles. But I should, I should begin saving up for that, I think. Just to give us that extra little boost. Anyways, let's have a look. What, what, blah, blah. I'm getting all tongue-tied. Let's have a look at what you can do. Let's give you some, uh, some experience potions. Give you a nice little boost. He's pretty good speed-wise. I vibe that. I think that's pretty nice. And we're just going to have to remember as well, this guy isn't imprinted, obviously. So, uh, he's not going to be as strong as that Caprasuchus was when it died. <sighs> Which is a shame. So, we're starting out with 4 million health, 210% speed. I like the speed for now, to be honest. I think I'm going to start out by chucking basically all of these initial levels. Hmm. Yes, he gets some pretty good... All right, he gets some pretty good uh, health boosts. I'm going to go straight to 10 million health. And this time around, I'm going to do the unthinkable and actually heal him up. That's right. That's right. Not like we did with our spirit griffin. And when we dive bomb into a uh, Kentrosaurus. So this time around, I'm actually going to heal my new dinosaur and not get it killed straight away. And that lands us at about 60,000 damage. Okay. What about my right click attack? Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I reckon that's the attack that killed me, by the way. Also, we just... Wow, that has like some... That has a radius on it. We killed quite a bit of stuff just then. Do we have a C attack? Ooh, flame breath. Okay. Okay. X attack. No X and no control. Okay. You know what? I feel like we really got to put him to the test, though. We can't just leave it at that. You know where we're going? Back where we came from. There's two primal Kanos out there. There's another thorny dragon out there. And then there's that origin Kano that I wasted a couple minutes of all of our time trying to attack for no reason at all. So we've got a few options out here that we can use for one, leveling. And two, see how strong this guy really is. Um, it turns out, though, the biggest challenge of all is going to be this rock and trying to climb over it. So, <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Why can't we just run through all the rocks like this? All right. I think we can just walk up this way. Okay, let's power up. This guy here. All right, so I want to see what our attacks are dealing. Pretty good. That was a 3 million damage attack. That's what I like to be seeing. Um, we got this guy. Oh, you want to just bomb everything, eh? Just literally just annihilate everything. Uh, we got these guys. Where I'm heading next. I want to test out our fire breath on one of these. Just to see what sort of damage. All right, he snuck around my side. That's not ideal, but that's fine. And now I can't attack anything because I'm riding on his shoulders. All right, so my right click attack just dealt. 10 million damage. It's still going too. Dude, dude, it's still going. Uh, we just nearly dealt 20 million damage with that attack. <laughs> All right, this is strong. This is strong. You guys didn't let me down with the suggestion. I like it. However, there were two Primal Carnos out here. Where did the second one go? Where is number two? Also, what is that? Hold on a second. Demonic Hyenodon. Hello. Um, look, I'm not looking to fight one of you right now, but I will. Little demonic soul. They always come in handy. A few extras. Um, ooh, we got a Margosaurus out here too. Also, I'm on fire. Interesting. All right, here's the other one. How much health has this guy got? Who cares? Bam. Bam. We're about to find out how much damage I deal, which is far more important. I legit think... Okay, that's 10 million. It's still going. Let's just hit him again. <laughs> oh, this guy's so good. All right, I'm so glad we did this. We have ourselves potentially a new strongest dinosaur. One that may help us take down the Spirit Guardian. Not the Spirit Guardian, the Chaos Guardian. But we'll have to uh, cross that bridge when we come to it. We, uh, we're we not there yet. I'm going to get this guy maxed out and as strong as he can possibly be before we even try and or think of attempting that one there. But we still have one last thing that needs fighting. There he is. I knew he was around here somewhere. We have ourselves the Origin Kano. He's 30 million health down already. But I want to hit it with my Fire Blast. Just to see how strong my Fire Blast is. You know what? I think I think we just right click instead, to be honest. I think we're just going for right clicks for days. Just like... And, and it looks like we can... I think it swings pretty frequently, too. Um, Maybe not. 
kind of stuck. There it goes again. Bam. Bam. Yeah, you know what? It's much quicker than our Argentavis was before. Oh, no. What were we trying to fight this with? Yeah, no. Yeah. It was that. Uh, what? Yeah, no. It was that Argy. We were trying to fight this with our Argy before. Oh, my gosh. This thing just annihilates. Oh, this is my new fave, man. This might even be better than the Capra Suchus. I can actually see what I'm fighting. So that's, that's a positive. Oh, hey, Rock Golem. <laughs> yeah, you doing there, buddy? Um, I mean, you're, you decided to pop up at probably the worst, terrible, worst possible time for you, mate. Uh, because I am annihilating an Origin Gano as we speak. And if we're lucky, we might even get ourselves a max experience potion out of this. Come on. Come on. Where is it? Oh, my gosh. I think all my attacks are landing in the rocks. And I can't actually, like, launch them out. Um, okay, I'm, I'm riding around on the Kano right now. <laughs> Having a bit of a rough time, but that should be it. That should be the one. Come on. Go to sleep, buddy. Go to sleep. And by sleep, I mean the forever slumber. Never to awaken again. Goodbye, old friend. Goodbye. Hey, look, at least we got some origin blood, so that's nice. I don't think we got a max experience potion, but that's cool. We got some regular ones instead. We got some armor and some other junk that we're not going to use. 59 levels. Let's throw a few into speed. Our stamina seems to be holding up pretty good, but I'll, I'll chuck like five into that. And then the rest are all going into melee damage because I need this guy to be the biggest powerhouse of a hitter that I've ever seen. That's what we're going for. All right, how are we looking? How are we looking? He's nearly dealing 100,000 default damage. That is what I love to see. All righty, buddy. Let's power you down. And let's get you home. <laughs> let's get you home. I don't know how to feel about today's adventure. I honestly feel like this whole series has just been trading dinosaurs. It's like I get one kill to tame another one and then get that one kill to tame another one. And the problem is that we need those base dinosaurs to keep on moving forward. For example, feathers. I got no feathers. We probably need a better source of fabled eggs. We just need more and we need to stop sacrificing our dinosaurs. So today's the day we, uh, we're going to change that. Today onwards, no more sacrificing dinosaurs. I guarantee I'll break that promise tomorrow. But guys, we're going to end this one right here. If you did enjoy the video, please go ahead and punch that thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs ups. If you haven't yet done so, subscribe to the channel. And while you're at it, check out my merch at MrMiola.com. But guys, until next time, keep on smiling. Have a fantastic day. And I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.